Hey everybody, uh, I'm doing something a little... <laughs> Get this out of the way. I'm doing something a little different on this channel today. I usually don't put out things, but I thought this would uh, actually warrant a video. Um, somebody asked a question on uh, the Orchestration Online Facebook group about uh, woodwind tremolos, uh, trills that are larger than a major second, right? Um, and I thought I'd answer that. Um, so this person was asking um, specifically, let me show uh, what their example was. Uh, boom, yay, finally, finally figured out graphic. Um, hello, I'm always a bit wary of using effects like these, but in this case, I really wanted to do it. Is this playable smoothly? And as a follow-up, are generally major minor third trills okay unless you're in an extreme register? Uh, so yeah, um, we'll go ahead and answer this. Uh, I think uh, the answer to this video uh, will kind of tell you already um, what my thoughts are. But yeah, so uh, there, there are some things to consider with this. Um, and there are some things that you uh, definitely want to think about uh, when writing uh thirds and major thirds and minor third tremolos. Um, so let's start. So I'll start with flute here, all right? So um, the way you've written it, Brian, uh, is it's all in the third octave. Traditionally, you'd, you'd all do this in the third octave. So I uh, apologize for my flute technique being terrible, but uh, we'll start with D, which is that. So I've got, ugh, every time. I got thumb B flat, or thumb B, excuse me, um, two, three, and then um, the E flat down here. And that's all fine. That's that's perfectly playable, um, right? Uh, the problem is this F. Now the F is gonna be, right, okay, so that. So my thumb stays in the same position. So it'll be flat. I think he still is in the same position. However, I'm now doing something different on the left hand and different on the right hand. This is something you generally want to avoid with trills, is if you're doing this like this thing, it it, it gets really clunky, unfortunately. Um, so if I were to play this, this the up thing right here. There we go. <laughs> so, all right, a little airy, this flute's kind of crappy. Um, but And you can see the issue, right, is I have to be doing, I have to think about this, geez. That's really clunky. Also, apologies for my copy playing, but <laughs> it's clunky. Um, however, you can do this. So instead, what you want to do is um, this. So. I'm gonna use a technique called overblowing. And it's like a harmonic series, like with a blown bottle. You, or not with blown bottles, but like with um, with anything. Da, 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 da. I could use that to kind of get around this. So what's going on here is um, if I play a G, G is really easy. It's uh, with the B, uh, one, two, three, right? If I overblow that, because it's a second octave, I get a D. Okay, so if that's the case, we can do B flat, which is just this. Nope. There we go. And I can trill between the two now. And if I overblow, come on. So it is doable. Um, it's just you're gonna have to be overblown. Uh, flute is a lot better than I am. I am terrible, I'm a beginner. But it is doable, it is certainly playable. Um, so yeah, okay. Uh, let's move on to the oboe. Um, this is interesting. So uh, let's start with the second oboe first. Uh, second oboe, I can tell you, is really easy. Um, this is an oboe, by the way. This is an oboe I got for $30 off of eBay because somebody was selling it as a clarinet for parts. Uh, it doesn't have a bell. Uh, it doesn't have a reed either. But um, I'm 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 quietly competent enough with this to be able to figure this out. Um, so this first one, this G B trill, 
that's super easy. Uh, G is this and B is that. So you can just, you can do that all day. So that's, that's perfectly comfortable. This D to F is where we start to run into some problems. So here's the thing about the elbow. Um, F is weird on elbow, <laughs> right? So what you can do is, so, so D is this, okay? So got half hole. Now F, there are a lot of different ways to do F. And the, historically, F on oboe has been very strange because oboes were originally built in D. Um, so if I lift my fingers up, this is, this is D. It's one, two, three, one, two, three. This is a D fingering. Uh, if I do D, E, F sharp, G, E, A, or excuse me, sorry, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and then uh, C sharp is going to be that, and then D. Um, so historically, oboes were limited, or they weren't limited, but they were built in the key of D. Um, there's actually uh, my friend Richard. He uh, he makes an argument that oboes realistically should be thought of in C or C Lydian, um, because C D E F sharp G A B C sharp D. So uh, that's uh, something interesting. So historically, F uh, has been a little bit of a bugbear for the instrument. Um, there have been a lot of ways to get around it. Um, historically, you would just use uh, fork F, which is this. Uh, this is okay. Um, you don't want to be doing like da 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 da, like D minor sucks, um, which is a pretty common key, right, for um, for things. Uh, but the thing is, um, there have been a lot of ways to kind of combat that. So I've got this key right here, um, which is supposed to be this this uh, F E trill. Excuse me, F F sharp trill or F G flat is a uh, what is what is going on? Um, this is the kind of thing you use it for. Um, so the other ways to get around that is, uh, on some oboes, uh, down here, I don't have it, but there will be what's called a left F, uh, and that will be uh, a way to play F. You do it, um, like that with, with, with an F in here. So, and that's how you would, that's how you would historically uh, defeat that. Um, uh, now the, where the D is written Okay, like this. Um, but to play F, I need to hit this vent in the back. So what you can do is that. And that's a, that's a perfectly uh, serviceable way to do this. Um, yeah, uh, that's, um, I th I'm sure there are other options. But that's the that's the one that immediately comes to mind. Um, you can you can get and do some like weird stuff if you have like a left F. You could do like, um, like like pinky. But like, honestly, this will be your best bet if you're playing this kind of trill. Or sorry, with half hole. So. Um. Okay. So that's that. For the clarinet. Now this is where we start. Um, Uh, clarinet, this is where we start to run into uh, a few problems. So let's start with uh, the G. So this this score is in C. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be a written A. Um. So here's the thing. So A on the instrument or a concert G is going to be that, or where you have it written, it's going to be that, right? And here's the thing. A is that. That's B flat, and now I'm out of keys. Um, and like B on the instrument, um, I can't remember the fingering for this, but B on the instrument is like that. It's it's um, yeah, it's that. So you would be doing you'd be doing a trill like and you'd be switching over like kind of a break there because of what's going on. So that that's a really nasty trill. Um in my opinion, um, I'm sure there are other clarinet players that uh, would think differently, but um, I, that's a pretty gross one. 
So, yeah. Uh, just for kicks and giggles, what is it down the octave? Um, yeah, down the octave is not much better. Because, uh, actually, down the octave, you'd be going right across the break. So... Yeah. So that's that's kind of the that's kind of the issue with this one. Uh, on A clarinet, did you do this on A? Maybe. Let me think about this. So uh, it would be written. Yeah, I don't think you could do it on A either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think of like solutions here. I mean, honestly, what you want, might want to do is you might want to do like a, an F G trill because, or like a, a G A, because that would be, uh, that'd be really simple. That would just be this. And you would, you got this like G seven kind of thing going on here. If you did that, that would, that would make everyone's day a lot better. I know it would sound kind of cool in context. I think, um, would be that. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be my recommendation for the next. And yeah, I think that's where I'm going to stop this video. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you. Uh, first video I've uploaded in a while. Um, so yeah, take care, guys. Uh, hope to see you around sometime. And uh, see you later.